Hey guys, if you remember, I really like visiting science museums. And if I am traveling and there's a science museum, I try visiting it. Today, we're in Chicago. And in Chicago, there's one of the biggest science museums in the world. It has 400,000 square feet of space. So let's see what's in it. How do you think earlier scientists demonstrated that the Earth rotates? In 1851, French scientist Leon Foucault designed this model to show the rotating of the Earth. model of how real sunlight tur turns into electricity to power these cars. So when I open the solar panels more, there's more energy to power the car. a tornado but without the danger this is the right place you can even go inside but well, unfortunately today it's closed this is an amazing model where you can make your own waves things about this museum so far is that you can manipulate and change every experiment here. Involving parabolas. One more time, maybe I'll be more accurate. This is probably my favorite exhibit so far the Tesla coil. Tesla was fascinated with electricity and electromagnetism. He invented the Tesla coil to transmit electrical currents wirelessly over long distances. Nature. Watch it for yourself.
video about the Benjamin Franklin Museum, that museum had the real plane by Wilbur and Orville. Well, it's wild it's, 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 it's original. Uh, it's original. It's not remade. Since I'm from Ukraine, I'm always so amazed and proud when I see Ukrainian scientists make cool things that change the world. standing all the way over there and she's gonna whisper really quietly but I'll still be able to hear her. submarine. This is a German U-boat captured in World War II in 1944. I spent more than four hours in the museum and it was amazing, but I didn't even have enough time to see all the exhibits. Okay, what I liked in the museum. I really liked the Tesla coil. It was amazing. And also I really liked that almost every exhibit there was interactive and you could play around with it. 
And this museum was established with the idea that most exhibits should be interactive. If you're visiting Chicago, I definitely suggest for you to go here. But if you want to visit it, plan for almost a day in the museum. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe.